Hi, in this video lecture, let's discuss about the similarities and differences between latches and flip-flops. As far as latches and flip-flops are concerned, both are memory components. Each latch and the flip-flop can store one bit of information. The differences in the way when it can accept the changes in the input. Latches accept the changes in the input during the levels of the clock pulse. That is when the clock reaches 1, the changes in the input to the latches are accepted. When the clock is moving from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0, if there is any change in the input, that will not affect the latch or the memory element. Whereas a flip-flop works at the edges of the clock pulses. A positive edge triggered flip-flop accepts the changes in the input to the flip-flop when the clock goes from 0 to 1. And after the clock reaches 1, any change in the input will not be accepted. Similarly, a negative edge triggered flip-flop will accept the change in the input only when the clock goes from 1 to 0. And this portion, the transition from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 is called a trigger because to change the signal from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0, it takes a very small time. And that is like a momentary change called the trigger. And that is why we call the flip-flops as edge triggered flip-flops. Whereas this duration is relatively longer compared to this duration. In practice, we don't have an exact square shaped signal like this. Rather, there is a very small time taken to change from 0 to 1. And in level 1, it stays in a longer duration. So, this portion of changing from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0. It's a very small portion or it's a very small time. And that is why these are called triggers. 